Hi, hello. Today we are going to talk about another sliding window question. Longest continuous increasing subsequence. We will look what this question is all about. We will see how we can approach and how we will apply sliding window in it. Let's see. All right. So our approach will be first we will talk about the question. Then we will see how we should approach that question. We will go with some example we will see that can we apply sliding window pattern or we can't and then at the end we will look for the template so this question can be asked you in a way like you have an array of integers and you have to return continuously increasing subsequence this is required now when you listen the question so the next moment you start coding that is not being expected so it should not be done like that you because there is most of the chances that the person who is asking you question he is just providing you partial information and he is expecting from you that you should ask some questions so that he can explain the question clearly to you and so he he's looking for your skill set that do you start coding just by reading or you you explore you try to clear your doubts first and then you are going to start coding so you may ask some questions like this you may say that does this array has negative numbers is it ordered or it is not you may say that what do you mean by continuous increasing subsequence so are you expecting that if we have one three two seven or are you expecting the subsequence is like this one three and then seven like unconnected or you were expecting it should be continuous like like a subsequence which is like connected like a sub array so such question will give you the clear answer like the clear picture that does it does the particle question fit with any coding pattern you know cd1 coding pattern 2 or coding pattern 3 or this is something you have to invent right now so by exploring by asking question these things will be clear to you now once that question is clear to you he will give you like you can ask some example that from example that okay this is the input output or so in this way you can explore the question clearly now once you have that after this you you can find it that does it fit with the template or no so let's see in this question they're asking they will provide us an array of integers that's the first thing the second thing they are saying they are expecting longest continuous increasing subsequence so they are asking for subsequence or subarray and they have provided some condition it means that should be longest and that continuous increasing subsequence so subsequence tell us that they are expecting some subarray and longest continuous increasing is the condition and exactly we have to find the window this is expected size that is what we call longest this longest is pointing actually our window now by looking at this all these requirements that fulfill the requirement that we can apply uh, sliding window that's a good thing because in sliding window we know that if we are being given array or some string uh, there is some question that is saying about uh, talking about subarray or substring they have provided some condition and there is some window size included we can approach with sliding window so let's see how we can approach this question now what how we will implement let's go with an example we will first put our left pointer at zero index and we will take our right pointer also on zero index so both are on pointing at zero index 
Now, at each step, what we will do, we'll move our right pointer next. We will ask this question. So when we are pointing this number, that one, so this number has to just ask the previous number, am I greater than you or no? So this three has just to look on the, the previous number that do I am greater than you or no? Yes, three is greater than one. So we will keep the left pointer on its right exact position and we keep on moving our right pointer further. Now we will move our right pointer again to the next level and that three two we will ask that this two is greater than three you will say no if it is not so for sure we have some already we have found the our local minimum already we know up to this level we found a size of two which is like this is the size of two we found maximum longest increasing subsequence up till now it is two and once we found that this condition is breaking at this point here where two is less than three so it means that this graph was increasing and it dropped in that case what we will do we will just pick our left pointer and we will move it to the exact position where right is there so again we have jumped our left pointer to the position and now we will move the right pointer again forward we'll say move forward keep on asking that is seven is greater than uh, two or it is less than if it is greater so we just have we need this condition only to to, to evaluate that are we following the right track or we this is continuously increasing subsequence or no so now we will move the right pointer further because this condition satisfied we keep on moving and we reach up to the end and we found up to that level that there is a subsequence whose length is equal to three and we found that that will be our answer so it, with this approach we can solve this question so what do you think this is a fixed size sliding window question or it is a variable size sliding window question so of course it is a variable size sliding window question and let's see how we can code it welcome back now we know that we can solve this question using sliding window coding pattern so as per the template how we will do that we will say nums.zip with index dot fold left and we will keep our left pointer at zero index and at this point we know that uh, the longest continuous increasing subsequence we have found up till now has the value zero and now we will just pattern match here we will say case this is left pointer at index zero and that will be our continuous increasing subsequence and with the zip with index is going to zip every number with its index and we will get a tuple of num and the right index which is increasing by each iteration now once we are here what we will do we will keep move over because right pointer is moving with each iteration and we have to take the de decision with the left pointer should we keep it there or we have to move left pointer further so we will say new left and we say if right is greater than zero so it means that it has moved already forward and we are asking that nums at right minus one is it greater than or equal to our num which is at right index if it is greater than so it means that we have we or not we never satisfy the condition which is continuously increasing subsequent so we have to move our left pointer to the position of right index else we will keep the left pointer on its position wall we will find the new cis and we will say mat.max and we are looking that is the current cis cis is the maximum or right minus left plus one is maximum once we have that we will return to the full left the new left pointer sorry here will be also our new left 
uh, pointer. So we will ask that uh, we will return new left and we will return new CIS. We have found yet. And finally, once four left is completed by big of and um, complexity, finally we will return to the second one, which is our we finally found the maximum longest continuous increasing subsequence. That's it. Let, let's run the code. And it works. So we will keep our template as it is. Like here will be num, zip with index, for left, here all the local variable that we are going to update with each iteration. And here will be our logic most of the time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.